Hello everybody and welcome to Open World Gamers. Right, get yourself sat down, get a coffee or a cup of tea or whatever you're going to drink. I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to upgrade your ship. Right, so this is the ship and we're going to upgrade it. So you ready? Off we go. Right, so we're in the main screen here where all your parts are. Right, as you can see this is my original configuration. Once the ship is, you know, you've got it and you've got all the augmentation all fully set up. Yeah, this is how you do it. This is how I do it. So obviously, I've got my photon cannon outside. I've got my launch thrusters, my hyperdrive. So I've already got myself a load of parts already made, so I can show you where they all go. Um, and you'll see when I'm putting the parts in, when I'm doing it, here's my afraid. So these are the parts I'm going to actually put in. So I do apologise, the video is very long, so just get yourself sat down and ready. There's going to be no music in this video, so... Right, so yeah, the parts are all ready to go in. Okay, so we're just checking all the parts, make sure everything's in there, ready to go. Right, let's start upgrading. Start from left to right, is what I do. Okay, so we're starting with the hyperdrive. So you put one next to it, and what you do is you clump them around your uh, original part. So three in the first. Right, you'll see I'm putting three hyperdrives in the first, right? Can you see? Three in the first, around it. And then you put the next three in technology. Right, so you can see you've got your technology part. Okay, so you get another hyperdrive and you clump them around the technology part. Okay, like this. Okay, and then we'll have a look at the hyperdrive and let's see how much it's jumped up. Okay, so three there. Okay, now let's look at the hyperdrive. The hyperdrive is quite high now, isn't it? It will go higher, believe me. Now the next one, what we're going to do is we're going to do the... Right, okay, I'll put that in my face if I had too many. Right, what we're going to do now, we're going to do the shields, okay? Let's upgrade the shields. Shields are always good to upgrade, so we'll clump them again around the part. Three in normal, three in technology. Okay, shields are all good. This ship I'm doing at the moment is for surface mining. It's not for anything else but surface mining. This is why I've got the Impa knife I'm putting in it. Okay. So three in the main and three in technology. Okay. And I'm gonna I'll show you a little thing what I'm going to do in technology in a second with this shield part. Right, okay. Must apologize folks, it's early in the morning in the UK. And I've just had my morning coffee. <laughs> so can you see that C-class shield part? That's the one you get up in the uh, space anomaly, right? They're the parts, the base parts. You've got to put that in as well. So can you see my shield strength is pretty damn high, right? Now what we're going to do now, we're going to possibly do the impa knife. Okay, so we'll get the impa knife in, put the main part in. Okay, that's the main part. You need the main part at first. And you clump it around the main part. The main part can be found up in the space anomaly. Okay. So, at the ship parts merchant. All right. So, can you just see, you clump them around the infant knife. Because I'm using Explorer, your, ex your damage potential won't, will not show. You know, because it's not a fighting ship. So, see, I'm clumping them all three around. One in normal, three in normal, and three in technology. Okay, so as you can see, there we go. You can pause any time. And this one, I put the basic part that I got from the Space Anomaly, which is this one, and put it in. Right, that's a fully upgraded S-Class Info Knife. Okay, I put the parts, the ships, on the right-hand side. Okay, now we're going to go for pulse engine. So we're going to put the base pulse engines in. Okay, with this tutorial, I didn't get any pulse engines. I hardly got any. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a video at the end with the, uh, the finished article, okay? So there are, I'm just looking for the other pulse engines. At this point, I actually realised I didn't do all the pulse engines, but hey de ho that's what happens, right? So, yep, see, I didn't do all the pulse engines, so I've got to go get some more, and I'll get them at the end of the video, okay? Now we're going to get the launch thrusters. We'll put the launch thrusters in, Right, so can you see, you've got two basic sets there. They're the ones you get from the Space Anomaly. So that one. Okay, you can pause 
the video at any time to have a look at the parts of what you know what what resources you need to craft a part okay and it's always worth it um dismantling one ship to upgrade another right we'll put the phase beam in that's the basic stock phase beam right you get these from up in the anomaly okay this bumps up your uh, damage potential okay now we're going to put the positron in okay this is not a fighting ship so we'll only have the basic positron in it okay so we're just showing you that we're having this ship for surface mining and hyperdrive so what's going to go in here Right, so I'm going to put the rocket launch, the rocket launch, <laughs> rocket launchers, the rockets in here. So you put the normal and the the base one, which is the B one that you get with up at the space anomaly. But I believe I need to get myself some resources. So I think it is. Yep, there we go. It's unstable plasma. So you can unlock that up in the space anomaly as well. The unstable plasma. Okay. So there we go, let's put it in. Bang, there we are, we're in. Okay, and I'll stick the rest of that unstable plasma in the freighter eventually. Hyperdrives. Now then, we're going to put all the hyperdrives in. You get, you can unlock all these hyperdrives up in the space normally with Quicksilver. And once you've got them all, you can go into every star system, you know, every type of uh, star system. I'm putting the emergency one in there. That's the one if you want to warp away from pirates. And that comes in handy quite a lot. And the just standard base one. Right, now let's look at the hyperdrive range. Right, it's getting up. It's going up a bit, isn't it? Right. So, as you can see, keep the parts to the right and the other the uh, main parts to the left. So, I'm going to put the teleport receiver. The teleport receiver, what that does is when your ship is on the ground, you can use the teleport receiver to actually uh, send things to your ship. Okay. So, there we go. We've done that. I'm going to put in the economy scanner now. Right. So, I need five mi microprocessors, which are carbon nanotubes. Right. And then you can convert them straight over to microprocessors like that. Okay. I always do more than I need just in case there's another part. That needs them. Okay, so yeah, getting on a bit. We're getting there. We're getting there, folks. Right now, we need to put the things in that's going to boost it. So the Atlas figurine will do the hyperdrive, right? That boosts that up. Can you see it's gone to two thousand six hundred? Okay, and I forget what the other ones do, but uh, I've got you got Polo and Nada. Okay, they either do the pulse engines or shields. Okay. These figurines always do extra things for your ship. Okay, and then we'll want to put a nice, cool little trail on, I reckon. So which one can we have? I think we can have the... Are we having the red one? Yeah, we'll have the red one. Why not? So, right, that's it. All that nearly done. So is there anything I can put in here? Hmm. Okie dokie. I don't think so. Right, let's go back to general now. Let's put the uh, photon cannon in. This is the spare upgrade you get up in the space anomaly. Okay. All right. I've still got to put the B-class positron ejector in. I haven't done that yet. So, but what I'll do is I'll do a video right at the very end showing you exactly what to do. But that's how it should be done. I've got to put the rest of the pulse engines in. But I'll show you at the end. There'll be another little tiny video at the end showing you the finished article, okay? Remember, this ship is not for fighting, it's for surface mining. Ah, there we go, remember. So we're going to put that in now. Positron ejector, right. So there we go. And these two squares at the bottom will be for the rest of the positron ejector. So I think that's it. Now, done. let's give it a little bit of a flight and let's see what it looks like. The manoeuvrability won't be perfect because the... Maneuverability isn't 100%. But the hyperdrive's there. It can go very far in the ship now. And I use it for surface mining. So if I go down to a planet, I just shoot the planet surface with the info knife and I collect all the, you know, all the um, materials and stuff you need. Okay, save you uh, zapping them with the multi tool. 
So I'm flying in now and I'm going to jump out and you'll see the uh, the finished article anytime soon, folks. Anytime soon, right? <laughs> Long tutorial this, isn't it? Okay, so you ready for the next one? Yep, here we go. Right, okay, this is what it looks like. So if you look at the stats in the top right, that's what it looks like when it's completely fully upgraded. I've moved a few parts around. You can pause this and have a look on how it actually looks with all the parts in it. But if you look at the stats, maneuverability is up now. Hyperdrive is up. So yeah, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it, folks? Yeah, and that is how you upgrade the ship. You can, I've got to put some more uh, launch thrusters in, but hey, that's it. So we're coming to the end of the video. Remember, pause this anytime you want. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching it. I really appreciate it. I'll try my best to do as much No Man's Sky content as I can for this channel. And I shall see you in the next. Tatty bye.